In this video, I'm going to go over the three different types of volcanoes. There are shield volcanoes, dome or cinder cone volcanoes, and composite or stratovolcanoes. To begin with, shield volcanoes, which is talked about on page 97 of the textbook, are very flat and low relative to their diameter, but large in aerial extent. They usually have thin lava flow, which is only about a few meters or less in thickness. The Hawaiian Islands are a great example of shield volcanoes, where thousands of people live. Next are dome and cinder cone volcanoes, which are talked about on page 97 and 98 of the geoscience textbook. These have lots of magma towards the surface. The pressure decreases towards the surface, but dissolved gas bubbles up and tries to escape. The force from the eruption can cause bits of magma and rock to be flung, which is known as pyroclastics. These volcanoes usually produce more violent pyroclastics, which consist of thicker and more viscous silicic lava. Thicker lava is able to trap more gases, which is why the pyroclastics are so violent. Parasutin, which is a volcano in Mexico, is a great example of this type of volcano. Lastly, there are stratovolcanoes, or composite volcanoes, which are talked about on page 98 of the textbook. These are built up in layers of different materials. They are larger than cinder cone volcanoes because they have a mixture of lava and pyroclastics. They usually are considered the most dangerous type of volcano. They are fairly viscous, gas charged, and have andesic lava. When not erupting, lava oozes out and creates lava domes. A perfect example of these volcanoes is Mount St. Helens, which recently erupted in the 1980s. That is all for the three different types of volcanoes. Thanks for listening and hope you learned a lot.